Hello everyone, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com uh, going through another of the core skills tutorials. This time round we're going to be looking at one of the most frequently used tools in Photoshop. If you're doing photo manipulation then this is something that you'll come across loads. If you're not already using it then hopefully you can learn a little bit today. Uh, basically it's the levels command. Uh, what the levels command is useful for is when you're getting stock photography from whatever source you use. Um, a lot of the time it could be underexposed, overexposed, it could be issues with the uh, shadows or midtones or the tonal range. When you're doing a photo manipulation and you've got all different parts, you want everything to be coherent. So you'll find yourself using levels all the time. So let's get started with that. To activate the levels, you go image, adjustments, levels. And then what you see here is uh, what they call a histogram. And it's basically represents the tonal range of an image. Um, shadows, uh, mid-tones and light areas. And just put it, make sense for you. Um, say you've brought in your image and I'd like to, uh, this looks a little bit overexposed to me. So what I'm going to do is just pull this slider here. And it beefs up the uh, the shadows of the tonal range. This slider here, say for instance you had uh, an underexposed image, you could use that to increase the white levels. And the midtones, you could push that in either way, and it's, it's very useful for making an image look how you like. So um, hit OK on that. As you can see, if I control Z that, show you what it looked like before. you can see the difference that it's made. The smart way to go about levels, if you're not familiar with uh, adjustment layers, it's something that you should get into straight away. Basically, it allows you to make uh, changes with any kind of image adjustment, but it's non-destructive. Basically means that anything that you could do, if you don't like it later on down the line, instead of undoing all those steps, you could just go into the adjustment layer and tweak that. So I'll select levels there. And here you can see it's the same histogram again that you can manipulate the shadows, midtones, and highlights um, to make the image that you've imported or the overall manipulation that you're doing uh, to have the correct tonal range. So, say for instance, I'll just do a, a minor tweak on that. A lot of the times that you use it, they won't be massive changes, but a small change in the contrast can really uh, improve your image and like I said earlier just make the whole thing a lot more coherent so let's say I've done that and I hit OK now then uh, this area here this is your adjustment layer that is a layer mask uh, for those of you familiar with layer masks know how this works basically black erases and white replaces uh, so at the moment the layer mask is filled all with whites. If I wanted to be selective and only have the levels adjustment affect certain areas, I'd you can you can do this a few ways. You can fill it with black or you can invert it, control I. Say for instance I like the background but I wanted the levels uh, to go onto the actual skull. I could use a brush or I could use the pen tool as shown in the previous tutorials and fill that path. And if I um, paint on there with the white, it will only affect the areas that has the white. What I'll do is I'll pull the levels down just so you can see a bit more what's going on there. I'll just do this rough for now. So anything this white will come through. And you can do further amend amendments to that. Um, you could even mess with the levels on that. I'll just show you an example. So you can affect the whites and the blacks of your layer mask.
but that's that's going a, a further step if you wanted to get really futuristic say for instance down the line i decide that that's too obtrusive what i'll do i can simply go back to the adjustment layer click that and i can tweak it at any time and amend the values and it's non-destructive adjustment layers i'll probably do a tutorial on that later on because they're so useful but if you are using layer masks more often than not you'd want to be using them on an adjustment layer so i thought i'd include them here today there's a thousand and one uses for them um, chances are you'll use them on nearly every piece that you'll do too many examples to give but that's the core basics boosting the contrast and getting more punch from your images a lot of the time people use digital snapshots or poor quality stock levels can actually save quite a few images so if you give that a whirl in your workflow uh, hopefully it can help you out okay thanks for listening guys hope you enjoyed cheers